Okay, so I thought I'd do a quick video on how to set up Real Flight controller for Real Flight 9 using the wireless dongle, the WS2000. I had a lot of trouble getting it set up, so I got some help with it. Saw there, there's not too many videos on YouTube explaining kind of in detail on exactly how to set it up. I'm using the Spectrum iX12. I do have everything set up finally now. What you do, you're going to go in, you're going to create a new model, you're going to make it an acro model. Now the channels that are going to be used that you want to change are channel 5, 6, 7, and 8. Now you're going to go into your channels assign and you're going to assign the 5, 6, 7, and 8 to a switch of your choice. Like for me, for the idle up, I use the typical idle up throttle hold. I use the typical throttle hold. Um, channel C, I used for the safe, like intermediate beginner for the uh, AS3X. Best way to do that when you set it up, you're going to go into your simulation down to select controller. Now if it shows up when you plug it in and do the bind, it might show up as a spectrum. You want to change that to the WS1000. And then you're going to go into and edit it. I've already got mine saved. So that way, once you save it, you rename it. I renamed it to Acro so that way I knew which one was which. I hope this video makes sense. I don't make a whole lot of videos and I'm kind of new to doing this. But that's the basic way. Let me see if I can get everything to work so that way you can see. Uh, another thing you can do is if you want to create a whole new one, you can go and you can X out of all these and you can assign everything yourself. Now, like I said, you want to make sure you have it on Acro. Once you get this saved, you're going to go into Calibrate. Once you calibrate, the switches you selected are going to be for your throttle hold, your idle up, your uh, flight modes, and so on. Make sure you do all the calibration, otherwise you might not get them to all work correctly. Before the calibration on my... Uh, idle up i only had idle up one and two on a three switch selection after the calibration i had all three idle ups so make sure you go through and do that as you can see with idle up one i got nothing which is you know once you hit the throttle you got the power hit idle up one there's your 3d mode idle up two you got more power Depending on what you fly, your idle up might also be your flight modes. This is the 230S, so it's going to be your flight modes. Now, when you got that on, the throttle hold also works. Hit throttle hold. I had a really hard time getting this set up, so that's why I just wanted to do a quick little video. So that way you know. Change switches. Sorry about the blurriness. Change channels 5, 6, 7, and 8 to a switch that you want to use. Those are the ones that are going to be used in real flight. This should, depending on how many channel radio you're using. I'm using the iX12. I guess the dongle only sees 8 channels to the best of my knowledge. Thank you. Uh, hopefully if you like this, I know I'm not too charismatic and all that when it comes to making these videos. So if you like it, hit thumbs up. Subscribe if you'd like. I do some new videos. If I get some more requests, maybe I'll do more videos. Thanks, guys.